Now let's look at one more numerical on the concept of the Huygen Poiseuille's equation. The question says that we have a fluid of viscosity 0.7 pascal second, that's uh, Newton seconds per meter square, and the specific gravity is 1.3. It is flowing through a circular pipe of dia 100 mm. The maximum shear stress at pipe wall is 196.2 pascals. We have to find the pressure gradient, the average velocity and the Reynolds number for this flow. So let's uh, get to solving this question. You, uh, first of all, uh, let's write down the given data. So given data is viscosity is 0.7 pascal second. Then you have the specific gravity which will give you the density. So 1.3 into 1000 gives you 1300 kilograms per meter cube. The dia of the pipe is 100 mm which is nothing but 0.1 meters. Uh, the maximum shear stress, let us say tau naught is 196.2 pascals. We have to find the first part is to calculate the pressure gradient that is curly P upon curly X has to be found out. Now remember this, you are given tau. So if you have seen the video on this analysis, you know in a very systematic manner you would understand and you would remember that tau is equal to minus r by 2 into curly p by curly x. Okay, so this is the maximum stress, so I will put this equal to tau naught. So let us find out this entire value from this equation. You have tau naught, you can easily find out r, r is nothing but the half of the diameter, just 0 0.1 by 2, 0 0.05 meters. So from here I can easily find out the curly uh, p by curly x value which is minus 2 minus 2 tau naught upon r okay so this can also be if you are not comfortable in dealing with you know decimals then this can also be substituted as you know capital uh, no you have to uh, do it so you have to substitute here d by 2 so you will get minus 4 into tau naught upon d this is what you will get so you will get minus 4 into 196.2 upon 0.1. So this gives you a value of curly P upon curly X as minus 7848 pascals per meter. Remember this units are very very important. So this is pressure gradient that is the variation of pressure per unit length. So you can see as you move you know along the, uh, the the pressure starts to reduce so there is some pressure drop so per uh, so if you move for one meter this much pascals of pressure would have dropped okay so we are done with this let's calculate the average velocity now you remember that there is a relation between the maximum velocity and the average velocity so that is that u bar is equal to half the maximum velocity. So what is this maximum velocity? So maximum velocity was, it was minus 1 by 4 mu into curly p upon curly x into capital R square. So that is the maximum velocity. You divide this by 2, entire equation by 2 you get the value for u bar. Again a simple mathematical substitution over here. So you will get uh, this would be minus 1 upon 8 into mu is how much? 0. 0.7 into curly p by curly, curly x is minus 7848. So this will become plus. This is 7848 into r square. That is 0.1 by 2 whole square. Alright, so this is the average velocity. So when you calculate this entire equation, you get the value for average velocity as 3.5 meters per second. Okay, so we are done with the second part also that we have calculated 
the average velocity. Now see, all these relations, this relation, this relation, this is coming from the analysis that we did for this kind of a flow. Okay, so you have to remember that and understand first of all. The last part is to calculate the uh, Reynolds number. So Reynolds number is easy. So Re is equal to density into average velocity into diameter upon viscosity. So you will get density as 1300 into 3 and a half into 0.1 upon mu is 0.7 so this comes out to be 650 which is way less than 2000 which validates that whatever formulae we are using over here they are for a viscous flow because it is less than 2000 okay so i hope you got this simple formula based question on the viscous flow through a circular pipe now after this we'll move on to the next topic and talk about the flow between two parallel plates.